Hi everyone, my name is Erika Moreno and I'm a product manager at MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy 2021 Update 2 is finally here. With this new version of Workstation, architects will be able to create new applications from the start, leveraging new sleek interfaces and editors. Let's take a look. I'm going to log into Workstation and create a new application. Then I can easily connect to my data sources and start creating my model from scratch. First, I will go into the schema tab to import the tables that I need and start creating my attributes and facts. I can define each one of my attributes, specify different attribute forms, and rename them. I also receive suggestions to map to existing attributes based on common column names. I want to use the geography dimension to know the customer location and the store location, so I will need to create a new alias table of the country lookup table to achieve this. With the new logical view editor, I can easily create new alias tables and even create logical tables from scratch. I can type my query, preview the results, and save it as a new logical table. To create an alias table, I just have to right-click on a logical table and select Create New. Now, I will go ahead and map the customer country column into my new alias table. In the Objects Smart tab, I can take a look at all the objects that I have I can filter by environment, project, type, owner, and date modified. After I'm done, I will go ahead and create some metrics. The metric editor allows me to select from different functions. In this example, I'm using sum. I can also specify different parameters and advanced options or even switch to a formula editor view if I do not want to use the guided view. Now that I created my base model, I want to create a filtering prompt that will retrieve fewer data into the report that my users will see in the dossier. I will go ahead and set it up. With the new prompt editor, I can easily define the settings that I want to display in my prompt. I can force the users to answer or set up the minimum or maximum number of answers they can choose. I also want to create some derived elements to group the data in a customized order, so I will use the customer state attribute to add the derived element. The right elements are helpful to put data into buckets without having to affect the database or the query. They only act at the analytical engine level, so they can be used to sort individual elements or perform calculations on the fly. You can define if those calculations will affect the subtotal or not. If you want more information about how to use derived elements, please visit our website to find demos and documentation about this functionality. After I finish, I will add these objects into a data source to use in my dossier. When I add this data source into my dossier, I can modify how to display the data. In this example, I have a bar chart that takes advantage of the new nesting labels functionality, so the data looks clean and organized. I will run my dossier and I'm done. Now let's jump into what's new for administrators. Workstation includes new monitors that allow you to take a quick glance at all of your environments. As part of this release, we added the job monitor where you will be able to take a look at all the jobs that are running and even identify the long running jobs and take action. For this release, we also added security filters. The security filter editor will allow you to specify the attributes that the filter will take into consideration, like the position, country, region, business unit, and so on. After you decide the attribute, you will have to assign the users. With this new editor, you can do all of this without leaving the same interface. As part of our strategy to modernize the platform, we have included a Python script editor inside of Workstation. This editor will allow you to create scripts, edit scripts, save them in the metadata, and run them, all of these without leaving Workstation. We're increasing the number of Python modules that we're integrating with Workstation. For example, we have a Python module for Cube and Cube Cache Management, and also a data source management. All of these will allow you to automate your tasks. To get you started, you can leverage the sample scripts that we have included in our website. If you want more information, please visit our website at www.microstrategy.com. Thanks for watching.